my name is Chua Talegio for, and I'm playing Vincent Kapoor in The Martian. It's always great to get to this point and, uh, and to feel like it's been a really special and interesting process and journey uh, and very rewarding, you know, we're, we're working on this project and, uh, and it's got a long way to go, you know, it's, uh, this, this section of what we're doing is kind of a, it's just one part of it, you know, um, and so uh, I think it's going to feed in really, really well to everything that happens from now on, you know, with, um, with Matt, obviously, and uh, on Mars and, uh, and everybody on their spaceship. On one of the missions, this terrible accident occurs, and, uh, and one of the astronauts is um, ostensibly killed. And, uh, and only later, it's even worse than they thought, essentially, because he's not been killed. Um, he's actually been left. So, um, and, and then they, you know, it's a better and worse <laughs> in a way. It's great that he's alive, but they can't get to him. <laughs> and, uh, and so the difficulty is trying to keep him alive for long enough to, um, to get back to Mars and to get, him, to get him home. The balance of the public side uh, of what is happening and the PR and Kristen Wiig's character, Annie, uh, and the balance with the head of NASA, uh, Jeff Daniels, and, um, uh, and the balance with me, who, you know, as head of, head of Mars missions, has a very specific and detailed set of requirements. However, it's true that everything needs to be kind of listened to and played off against each other. And, um, and that's kind of where the drama, I think, of our characters really uh, evolve. I mean, we all want the same thing, obviously. We all want to get him, to get Mark Watney back. But the manner in which we can do that and the level of transparency with which we can do that is, puts a certain amount of pressure on, on, the, on an agency like this. And so there was something at its heart that I thought was just very touching. I love the technology of it, and I love the science of it, and I love the ideas of space and the existential questions that that always brings up. And, and that's, I suppose, why people want to be scientists and go into it, because, you know, in space we can start to understand the mysteries of how we came about and perhaps what might happen to us. And, and, uh, and certainly with Vincent Kapoor, he struck me as somebody who had a deep responsibility in terms of his work, but also a remarkable kind of iron will when it came to problem solving. Uh, and I suppose with anything to do with space travel, there has to be this uh, absolute faith that you can prevail just by solving one problem at a time. Um, and that was something I thought was quite powerful, uh, that, uh, that these scientific minds would approach life and saving a human life with uh, the skill set that they have which is day-to-day -day problem solving. All of its humor, all of its strange, almost ethereal lightness, you know, of this, of this character stuck on a planet on his own. And, um, but all of the detail and technology, the scientific fervor um, of, the, of, the, of NASA and everybody at NASA and, uh, and, and all of the drama and the tension of, uh, of a crew that are dealing with psychological issues and psychological trauma of having found out that they've actually abandoned one of their crewmen, but, um, but rallying and, and, and figuring out ways to get past that and to, uh, and to come to his aid. The stakes are so high that I found that really interesting. And, um, uh, and you know, speaking to people who had been mission directors and also you know, had witnessed rockets go out, you know, fall out of the sky, you know, uh, terrible disasters and, uh, and the concepts of human error and what those kind of things can mean, which in our daily lives can mean, I mean, sometimes quite a lot, but often not much a mistake. Um, but in this concept, in, these, in, this, uh, in this environment, um, an error can be incredibly costly. Very excited to work with, with Ridley. Um, I had a, uh, the, uh, the great privilege to work with him before on American Gangster, and so I was excited to, to, to do that again. Um, you know, I, I think it's, uh, he's obviously just a superb director, just a superb kind of visual, creative artist and uh, an amazing um, person to, to watch work. Finding that... Um, you're working with a director who's as curious as anybody to see what happens next, you know, and can give you the environment to make that happen and then allow you to, to tell the story. I think the film's thrilling, you know. It's really, I think it's a very exciting film. I think it's got a lot of different elements. I think it's fun and it's a funny film in many ways. Uh, it's got 
I think, great story. You know, great story, great characters, and um, and a really, I think, a really remarkable way of telling that story. And I think with with Ridley, you know, you really get the size of everything. 